Hey church, welcome to day two of our devotional series on finding freedom. My name is Rafaro, part of our Manchester campus here. Hopefully you started the journey with us uh, earlier in the week, but without further ado, let's continue. So yesterday we looked at um, understanding that, you know, salvation is the start line and salvation comes from the love of God. It's an abundance of, of love. John three sixteen for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. And with the salvation that Jesus brings is actually freedom as well. And that comes from Galatians 5 to verse 3. It was for freedom that Christ set us free. Therefore, stand firm and do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. So you and I, as we sit and stand or wash the dishes or whatever you're doing right now as you're driving, we are free. We have been set free. But the reality is we don't always live free. Sometimes we still struggle with you know, previous patterns of behavior or thinking, or we get angry or, or we feel disappointment and we don't live in the freedom that we were promised. Um, and the reality is we can sometimes spiral and feel like we're trapped by this, but come on, the promise of Jesus Christ is freedom. And so it is possible to live in the freedom, not just in principle, not just in theory, but in practice as well. And that is the promise of Jesus Christ. In fact, he says, you know, cast off your burdens onto me and I'll give you my yoke and my burdens, which are light and easy to carry. So it's, it's, a, trans, it's a trading game with our dear Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and it's a daily practice. It, living in freedom comes slowly and continually over time. And today, I think it'll be good to meditate on this truth, starting with, you know, getting it from our brains down into our hearts and you know the distance from here to him can be quite long but sometimes we just need to sit in the revelation of God and meditate on on his word John eight thirty six says that if the sun sets you free you are free indeed so I'd love for you to spend a couple moments this morning just letting that permeate from your brain to your heart and really having that revelation a fantastic song that I would love to recommend is who you say I am it is a beautiful, beautiful song that's declarative, it's prophetic. And yeah, just spend a couple minutes this morning sitting in that and knowing that you have been set free. God bless you, church. We shall see you tomorrow.